uh, as they are coming up in right there. So, yeah, Jonathan Marston's team, we have Sinistra, Iron Hands, Ogre Pond, Landorus, Fluttermane, and Chiyu. Oh, a very cool team. Another Sinistra, we just have this game one, you know, get whittled down all the way to very low health and slowly heal up. Actually, a very, very good support Pokemon and matchup, matchup gotcha. Just a fantastic move that has the ability to burn your opponents as well. Exactly. Sinistra just being uh, an amazing Pokemon in this format, especially with like Iron Hand still doing great and Ogrepon also with its grass uh, moves and like just a good switch him for it. You do have the potential to go for Terra Fire, for uh, Fire Ogrepon as well, but for us you are able to uh, wall like other Ogrepons as well. And as we see the accolades as well, Bochum Regional Top 8 in 2020, Paris Regional Finalist in 2020, 2018 Harrogate Regional Champion, and two times the Zelda Challenge Champion. So quite a few, quite a few uh, noteworthy things. Yeah, a, a very a veteran player of, of in his own right. So let's take a look at the player representing team in Denmark, which is going to be Nikolai Hoyge. Nikolaj, sorry, that's Nikolaj Hoy Nielsen. Hoy Nielsen. Yes. I yeah, I, I wanted to let you do it again, honestly. <laughs> no. I think I got it now. So yeah. Nikolaj has a double bear combination, which is actually one of my favorite. It's got an Iron Hands, a Fluttermane Cresselia, Ursa Luna, and an Urshifu, and a Dragonite. So a very, very physically team, with the exception of Fluttermane, which is a little bit more. Uh, special booster, but this Fluttermane looks to be a bit more of a support set that we saw earlier in our match between mm -hmm. Spain and yeah. uh, Paul, Puerto Rico. This yeah. is uh, uh, his team seems to be the exact same team that he used for top eight at Worlds, which is one of his accolades as well. Uh, 2023 Mamu Regional Top 32, Top uh, 2023 Global Challenge Top 16. And in 2022, the EYC top 32. So yeah, the team just looks very similar to his team that he got top eight at Worlds with. Yeah, it's, it's the po same eight Pokemon, but uh, you know, uh, Pokemon can of course be uh, <laughs> done a bit differently. Yes, I'm sure he's very familiar, comfortable with this team. So maybe he's adjusted a few more different sets going into maybe regulation E. But we are going to get started off immediately with this Iron Hands and Cresselia versus the. So a lot of fake out options on the team, but maybe Nikolai just our uh, Pokemon are a bit, little bit slower because there's the Trick Room option. So you know, Chi Yu is a very very powerful special attacker. So really interested to see how this battle is going to pan out. Yeah, exactly. Chi does have the ability to go for potential Terra Ghost there as well, uh, trying to make sure that it is able to just attack even though it, uh, even if the opposing Irons wants to fake out that slot. While on the other hand, with a Trick Room team like this, you would think that, uh, as you said, Nikolaj's Iron Hands would be a bit slower. So the potential to see what this Cresselia will do to adapt, because of course it has been adapted and we have seen Chiyu so many times. So maybe this Cresselia is quite bulky to even survive a overheat to uh, Chiyu, you know, powerful. But we see the Chiyu going for the Terra Ghost right now and ready to fire off a very strong move. Yes, and uh, Jonathan wanting to go for an immediate offense here. But we're going to see a returning terrestrialization coming. It is going to be that Iron Hands going into the Terra Fire. So it's going to resist any sort of fire type moves coming off from this Chi Yu. And I wonder, has Nikolaj read into this Terra? Because Iron Hands has gone for a fake out onto the Cresselia, flinching this turn, and there is no fake out from Nikolaj. Yeah, Nikolaj opting to not risk it. Cresselia flinching, of course, uh, with Iron Hands going for the Dream Punch there, but not affecting Chiyu either because, of course, Chiyu is now a ghost fish, uh, being able to just negate that and gives Chiyu the opportunity to go for a potential another heat wave onto this Cresselia, de doing quite a bit of damage. And with the Iron Hands next to it, it might be able to just completely shut down this Cresselia as we do have the heat wave. Cresselia just barely hanging on. But we have the Lunar Blessing! Completely <laughs> forgot about that move. Oh yeah, Lunar Blessing is a new move that Cresselia gained in this generation. It's been a really, really good support move and we can see how critical that was because Cresselia is now able to sub uh, regain her health and survive that wild charge. Of course, Iron Hands on Jonathan's side is going to take a little bit of 
is going to take the, the Drain Punch and allowing Nicolaj's Iron Hands to actually heal all the way back up to full health. But of course, this Cresselia is now very heavily damaged and being slower than Chiyu, it might not be able to get off an attack before he gets knocked out. Yeah, that is one of the things. Of course, you have the option of uh, the dodge, of course, which is uh, something that Chiyu <laughs> does like to sometimes not pay attention really onto its targets. Uh, but yeah, the Lunar Blessing just trying to see potentially uh, the speed tiers as well as we have seen now what the speed tiers are. So we know Chiyu is first, then Cresselia is faster than the Iron Hands from Jonathan's side. And then last but not least, Nicolas, his Iron Hands uh, is the slowest thing on the field. So it will be very good inside of that trick, of course. Oh, indeed. And we're going to see now the Sinus just swapping in for the Iron Hands. And of course, here at full health, oh, it's going to connect on that heat wave. So, you know, Jonathan probably very relieved to finally knock out such a bulky Pokemon. Iron Hands, of course, uses Drain Punch, is not going to affect either of the two Ghost type Pokemon that's on the field. So, you know, this, uh, I think Jonathan has maneuvered around these first few turns quite well, you know, allowing all his Pokemon to really dish out a lot of damage without taking too much back in return. Yeah, exactly. And you were able to get rid of the main Trick Room instead of being that Cressela, you do have a potential. Uh, Flutter main if you want to really put Trick Room on that, but we have seen it wasn't, it was a Icy Wind variant with the booster energy as well. So now Nicolas really has to think what to do in this situation because the Sinistra is just able to redirect any sort of moves from any non-grass types. Uh, and the answer seemingly being that Flutter main as, we, as I just mentioned with the booster energy raising its speed. Yes, Flutter main is a really nice switch in here. It's Facing off like these two ghost types, both of which are not going to enjoy taking any sort of shadow balls. Now, I do wonder because this Flutter main, since it's got Icy Wind, it might be a bit more of a defensive supportive set. So, you know, with the proper training, I don't know if the Chiyu or the Sinistra can actually manage to survive a sort of shadow. Of course, Jonathan can always switch out his Pokemon or protect just to try and see. I think actually the Chiyu is choice spec, so it is unfortunately unable to protect, so it has to switch out if it wants to avoid any super effective Shadow Balls being launched its way. Yes, exactly. So Shadow Ball, like, of course, hitting both targets quite hard. Since you're actually opting to switch out, uh, going back into the Iron Hands here, uh, meaning if this Flood main went for a Shadow Ball right onto that Chi Yu, it might be in reach for a kill. It is super effective after all, but it is a support, uh, of course. Uh, but this time around, the Heat Wave does be missing on an important target, being that Flood main this time around. Yes, a very unfortunate miss on the Flood main. Why is have actually taken quite a lot of damage from this Chi Yu? But of course, that does mean that because the Iron Hands was not targeted on Jonathan's side, it does manage to come in for very, relatively little damage taken. And I think, you know, I think we saw a glimpse of Jonathan like, switching out his Chi, just not wanting his Iron Hands to take any more damage than needed from the Flutter Maze and Fairy type attacks. Because of course, this Iron Hands now no longer have the option to go for a Terra to dodge those super effective Fairy moves. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Chiyu just being able to dish, it keeps dishing out the heat waves here. Just uh, the Iron Hands is, even though it is Terra Fire, it not really being able to, well, drain punch really to try and heal, uh, because you always have the threat of that of the uh, Iron Hands from Jonathan's side, just switching back right back into that Sinistra. Uh, but we see it actually the other way around. The Chiyu choosing opting to switch out, so this Sinistra is able to heal this Iron Hands just a little bit more. Yes, it's just showing off its a very nice, brand new ability, Hospitality, healing back its teammate. Iron Hands on Jonathan's side going for a heavy slam just to try and knock out a really strong offensive option from this one mate. And of course, it does get, uh, it goes into Protect and is going to have a bit of its health whittled down by Nicolaj's Iron Hands, which is slowly regained some health. And you know, we see this Iron Hands now back to where it started at the beginning of this turn before its teammate switched in and healed it back up. Yeah, exactly. Now, it is quite low. Floatman is able to go, of course, go for any type of fairy type move. Uh, if you do have a Dazzling Gleam, because Sinistra is, of course, being able to redirect that. So do you just focus on the Sinistra slot there, just going for the Shadow Ball, potentially even uh, perhaps making a kill on that? Or on the other hand, maybe this Iron Hands is more of a threat because it is threatening an immediate kill onto this Flutterman with a Heavy Slam. 
Oh yes indeed, the Fluttermane is very light and Iron Hands is a very big boy, so he's going to be dealing a lot of damage to a, he a, he a heavy salmon he chooses to go for. So Fluttermane chooses to stay in and play Shadow the Sinister, which survives the hit with quite a lot of health. Sinister actually going to regain all a lot of his health back from this Iron Hands, because Iron Hands has a very, very high base attack. So actually this Wow is <laughs> Going back up, and poor Fluttermane is going to get a knockout without being able to do any damage to yeah. uh, any damage that's stuck to Jonathan's side. Yeah, exactly. Heavy Slam not doing that much damage to Sinisha, even the Rocky Hammond on top of it, making sure this Iron Hands has not been useful at all. Jonathan really, uh, like, surgically uh, moving around his Pokemon at the right time and just keeping Nikolaj's Pokemon low. Uh, but now there's an Ur Dark Urshifu, the single strike Urshifu, which is able to deal a bit of damage. But on the other hand, the problem is Jonathan still has his Iron Hands out front. Oh yes, and where there's an Urshifu that way, you know, it can deal those really it's got the Chi Yu in the back also, it's going not going to enjoy taking the dark moves. But of course, there is the Iron Hands. I don't know if Nikolaj has trained his Urshifu to survive any sort of fighting type moves from this Iron Hands. Is it a focus dash? To I believe it was, yes. Oh, okay, so it will be guaranteed to survive at least one hit, but of course. Oh, it looks like Nicolaj is going to actually just forfeit this game. All the players adapt to game two, so Nicolaj is going to switch up his lead with the Fluttermane and Dragonite instead, but Jonathan is going to lead off with the Chi Yu and Fluttermane. So Jonathan opting to go for immediate hyper offense right off the gate. Yep, as we do have a booster energy activating as well, meaning this speed will be heightened as well. Uh, activating first, so potentially. This Fluttermain could be faster than Nicolas's Fluttermain, and that is something you would not like to see right now because you are uh, the Fluttermain on Nicolas's side is also a icy wind set, trying to make sure that uh, you are the fastest Pokemon onto the field, make sure that your partner Pokemon can deal as much damage. But now, if both of them are, are the icy wind set, it depends on who can win the speed tie here or how they both have trained their uh, Fluttermains, of course. Oh yes, that speed is going to be so, so important. Should it is able to land the Icy Wind, is probably going to have a bit of an advantage. Nikolaj opting not to risk it, going for that Protect on his Dragonite, just to make sure he doesn't take any super effective Ice Time attacks. The Icy Wind coming off on Jonathan, so that's the second time it's been able to move first out, with a critical hit on top as well. But Fluttermane, of course, answering back with another Icy Wind on the Chi Yu. So, both the Flutter Mains are now at neutral and have lost their booster energy, can speed boost up Chi Yu, answering back with a heat wave. Is this going to be enough to knock out the Flutter Mains? Uh, as we have seen, Fluttermain does take that quite nicely there still, but Jonathan's uh, Fluttermain might still be the fast one at this end. We've seen it win twice, so we can probably assume that it is faster. But Dragonite being able to protect gives it a little bit of an up against his Chi because, of course, you don't have that speed drop right now. So you can be enjoying, for example, uh, can be really enjoying that right now. We've seen how little Icy Wind did to the opposing Fluttermain from Nikolaj, so still being able to match the speed ties with these ice winds as we do have the terra activation onto this dragonite going for the classic of course of that terra flying with the balloons all around oh that terra flying dragonite is going to be both a defensive and offensive terror because now it will be only time for two weeks to the ice wind so dragonite actually does not take it too well of course there is that chi on the field special defense but of course the Chi Yu is now going to have another stage of the speed drops which means that the Dragonite is likely going to be moving before actually it's not likely it definitely will be moving before that Chi Yu and when we see the Terra Blast coming out going straight onto that Chi Yu Chi Yu a little bit more frail not so much known for being defensive it's gonna yeah. get knocked out by that Dragonite yeah, it is even live or Dragonite, so yeah, just boosted with the flying move. Terra Blast being strong, uh, as uh, yeah, just very strong, really. And now you being put in a weird position because now you have to switch something in for this Dragonite, which is minus one speed still. Your next Ice Wind might potentially kill the Fluttermane on Nikolaj's side, but the issue is there's no more Chi Yu, so 
how much damage it did it do really like uh if i recall correctly the flooding was, did still have uh what had still had some health in the red uh but it went from orange to red with a chi on the field so oh, yes potentially this uh, flood, uh the, the flood rate from nicolas side might still be able to hang on for yet another ice wind oh indeed it might and also Nick, Jonathan has to actually hit his icy wind. There's one other thing I'm curious about is that Jonathan's flutter main, or well, both flutter mains, are now at minus two speed. So I wonder if Nicolaj has trained his Dragonite to be faster than a flutter main that's, you know, well, technically, because of the boost energy, the flutter main is at minus one speed. Yeah. So is this Dragonite going to be faster than the flutter main? Is that the fastest thing on the field now? And much damage can because Ogre Pond is not going to enjoy taking a life orb terror blast flying from this very right. Yeah, exactly. So uh, quite a difficult position to be put in. Uh, at this point, I feel like both players do not want their flood main really on the field after they've uh, done their service, after they have controlled the speeds with the ice wind here. But we do have the Terra activation this time from Ogre Pond going for that a Wellspring Mask, going into that full Terra Water, getting also the new ability and body aspect, raising its special defense, making sure that it is able to hit quite hard and take hits as well. Dragonite going for the Protect here, meaning the Fluttermane is out on its own on Nikolaj's side. IV Cudgel going out onto the Protected Dragonite, meaning the uh, Fluttermane from Jonathan's side might be going for an attack. It is going for that Moonblast, just making sure that Nikolaj, his Fluttermane, does manage to go down. Oh yes, Jonathan probably not wanting to risk the Icy Wind missing or, you know, not being able to pick up the KO. And knowing that his Fluttermane is the fast one, just choosing to try and get rid of the opposing Fluttermane so that it cannot go for any more Icy Wings. And that kind of makes me wonder, that, that Fluttermane might be very, very fast and might actually outspeed the Dragonite at minus one. But of course, here comes this Dark Urshifu, which deals super deals really really big damage and it is focus sash so it will survive any one attack that is thrown at it yep exactly and with that flutter main now at well minus one i believe with the boost energy <laughs> yeah. uh the urshifu might as well be the fastest thing onto the field a wicked blow will still hurt this flutter main uh, the dragonite of course not really wanting to take any iv cultures right now being just the flying typing no longer being a dragonite to resist it but still being able to do a bit of damage right before it goes out with an extreme speed there as the Ivy Cudgel is coming out. It, so we know the Ogre Pond is even faster than the Urshifu going into the Dragonite and Dragonite will go down. Oh yes, Dragonite has gone down, but it has done quite a bit of work, you know, knocking out the Chiyu, which was a choice specs variant. So heavy hitting, and here comes the Urshifu, close combat into the Ogre Pond, so deciding to ignore the Fluttermane for now, knowing that with a Focus Sash it can survive just one attack and maybe just wanting to deal with this minus two Fluttermane later, because now Jonathan is down to his final two Pokemon, so this Fluttermane is stuck at minus one speed. Yep, exactly. Moonblast coming out on Urshifu. Hang on, it's Focus Ash, just as you said. Going for the Fluttermane might indicate that uh, Nikolaj might have a good answer in the back for that Fluttermane. Uh, still there, as we do see on Jonathan's side, the last Pokemon being the Sinistra. Two Ghost types, uh, not really both keen to take any moves from this Iron Hands and uh, from this Urshifu, as Iron Hands is the last Pokemon. Iron yes, Hands you can deal with the Fluttermane. <laughs> But yes, you called it. The sinister. <laughs> yes, the yeah. Urshifu is faster. Is it going to be in a position to H Powder because by the Urshifu, which is actually the fastest Pokemon on the field, and Iron Hands within the Salt Vest, even a critical hit of this Bloodmate is not going to be able to knock it out because this is a more of a supportive blood main. So yeah. I think it's safe to say that I think the Urshifu should be able to deal with the Sinistar and then the Iron Hands it should be able to deal with the Flutter main at minus or well, yeah the, the Urshifu will go before the Flutter main and knock out the yeah. Sinistar and then the Iron Hands can deal with the Flutter main. No exactly I'm trying to think uh, how Jonathan can uh, wiggle Ooh. out but he's so nice! Oh. What? <laughs> what? Okay I didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh he gets straight zap. Oh, oh, he can oh. straight step back to full. Moonblast coming out from Fluttermane into the Iron Hands. Iron Hands has to deal with this Fluttermane now on its own. Uh, so, yeah, the straight oh. step coming out. So at minus one right now. 
Oh, okay. that is and amazing. Hospitality. So at minus one, uh, the heavy slime will still kill this for me. There's no way. Oh, it's oh wait, it went, into the the <laughs> it went into the sinister slot in case it was at low HP. Oh. Uh, probably and the rocky have it. So now this Flurry and this Sinister just proving to be too much for Nicholas and Jonathan. Very well oh, played wow. there. 